this is an office. This room's specific purpose is for streaming and, you know, doing stuff, which is which is great. The issue is, uh, it, here, here the so this is this is going to be a work in progress, and this is the actual reason the intro's not done for that one person that's over there. Like, we'll just work harder. Well, sweetie, I can't, and be, because this room's getting painted on Thursday. Um, we are doing a sponsorship with Uplift Desk, who's sending a wonderful desk, so we can finally say goodbye to the, um, the, the, <laughs> you guys have seen this, right? This, this desk, like, tailgating desk that I bring everywhere and I can, like, deploy at a moment's notice to stream off of? Well, that's not where you were last time, was it? But that, like, that's the, the reason that we haven't recorded the intros, because everything in this room has to leave this room on Thursday. So I basically set all of this up just to be able to stream today and, like, tomorrow. That's basically it. And we'll pull up, uh, we'll pull up the Dorfers for those that are like, what, does he just sit here and talk the whole? No, he doesn't. He plays football manager, baby. Has YouTube been greeted yet? No, thank you. YouTube! What's poppin'? It's Seatland. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Everybody else says hi, too. Say hi. Guys, they're gonna think you're rude if you don't say hi to YouTube, okay? There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Okay, this is our first Brazilian call-up. We haven't done this yet. Let's check out our goalkeeping uh, goalkeeping dudes. We've got Victor Leonardo, who does not have a senior cap for Brazil, but probably should. National team call-up for Luiz Junior, but Mateus is definitely our goalkeeper. Okay. Who's going with us? I want to play a 4-3-3. So that means that our left back is going to be Renan of Barcelona. Our right back could be Jose Roberto, but he's also a ball winner. He plays at Liverpool and he plays regularly. That's what we love to see. Morato, 29-year-old center back for Brazil. And man, he's... None of these guys are like world beaters. They're all just really good. I want more world beaters. We have Dodo who's definitely my starting right back. That guy is sick with it at 32 years old. What about Ma Mamd Adnan? That is a name. Well, he plays both sides. That's interesting for me. I do have spots in the team, so we'll bring Mamd Adnan. We do need um, more center backs. Bruno Luiz. he's got good jumping reach. He's a very good athlete. Uh, Tottenham center back, Bruno Luiz. Everton guy, Mateus Enrique. There we go. That is a right back. It's very bad at defense, but that's okay. We're gonna have an anchor guy right in the middle. I think we bring Bruno. So that's a call up. That means we've got three center backs, technically two right backs, even though Jose Roberto might count as just a uh, deeper lying midfielder. We will see. And if that's the case, then we'll bring up uh, Mateos Enrique. Because then we've got three center backs, two right backs in Dodo and Enrique. Mad Adnan can back up the left back position. He can also play right back. So we're really just looking for another center back. And is that going to be Milton from Lazio? No, it's not. I don't want to take Shazayas Grigor because I don't actually think he's that good. But he does like big matches and such. So I We're, we're going to bring Shazayas Grigor. All right, midfielders, we are looking at playing maybe a 4-2-3-1. We'll see, but let's check out the striker situation first. Just the general situation with the forwards. So we've got on the right, Angelo. He is pacey, great ball carrier, makes passes, smart, creative, really good player. Uh, Vinicius Jr., you know who he is. He is one of those dudes. So that's really nice. We have Venetius Jr. We have... <laughs> He's here. He's on our team. Well, David's definitely on the team. Why is he... Is he hurt? 
Managing Brazil. Yeah, we're selecting the Brazilian national team. Uh, very serious business here, so. Uh, is David here? Right, we're gonna do with a Gagan pressing four, two, three, one basic preset, uh, and then we are gonna change it, but is David on the team? Thank you. All right, David on the team. So we need, we have Angelo, Vinicius Jr., Jal Lucas. This is our starting behind the striker three. We have David and Anthony Chiaretti, who are our two starting strikers. Um, now we take a look at Edson Jose. He is an inverted winger off of the left side. We have Savio, who can play as an inverted winger off of the right side. And if we do all of that, then we basically have our team right now. There's Noldinho, who's my dude. We're going to give him some time to develop a little bit, perhaps. Uh, Josier, who has absolutely flumbayed me in the past. Uh, Saudi Ribeiro Azevedo. But he is just a little bit away from it. So Jesus had 98. Jesus has 98, but he's not on the team anymore. So I don't think... Oh, actually, Cunha is definitely really good. So Cunha is going to be the backup of Shell Lucas. He's going to be the backup central guy. So striker, backup. Right, we can take a third, and that's going to be Saudi Ribeiro Azevedo. Did we didn't look at Alexandro, did we? He's either footed too. Oh, shut up. He doesn't like big matches. Ugh. So we need backups for our wings, and I think that's where these guys come in. That's where we have Edson Jose, who backs up on the left side, and then we're going to need to remove some guys. We need to remove two, which means we're probably going to have a lot of midfielders when we look at this. <sighs> yeah, we do. All right, Jose Roberto is here. That is the guy that also can play right back. Marcos Antonio. What about you? Why is Nelson Malik not on this team? I'm going to remove Sandri. I, I don't see it. I, I really, really don't see it. So that opens up one spot in the squad, and Nelson Malik is absolutely getting that spot. This dude is a just... In and out right wing. I really like Ayerly Fernando. Malik's coming for now. We only need four guys. We only need four guys to play midfield. So we could take Nelson Malik and we could take Jose Roberto. And those are like our defensive minded guys. And then we need more like box to box minded midfielders. Where uh, I don't think Man City's Marcos Antonio fits that particularly well. Although I will say... Oh, he does. He's a tremendous box-to-box -box midfielder, so he's one of them. Mateos Enrique is... He's on the team, but it's not for midfield. He's on the team as a right-back sub. What about Savio? He can't play central midfield. Uh, Tete can't play central midfield. Rafinha. How's he doing? 34 caps at 34 years of age, but he's not athletic enough to be here anymore. Naldinho. Oh, I'm, I'm actually going to bring him. I'm going to bring... Uh, do we... Yeah. I mean, he's probably the best option. He's almost certain. Oh, they have Patrick DePaula. Oh, I forgot about Patrick DePaula. I've been assessing the teams. I know our strengths and weaknesses, and part of that includes me calling up my own guy, Naldinho, as one of the Brazilian national team folks. Okay. That should leave us with just four midfielders up, which gives us the opportunity to bring up Edson Jose... The left side and Savio, the right. Who? Oh, oh my goodness! Who is here that's not supposed to be here? The extra player is the goalkeeper. I can't do that. Azevedo, see you later. Which one of you guys is um, not debuted yet for the national team? We'll drop David. We'll. It's friendlies. We'll bring Gabby Jesus. We'll get him to a hundred caps. What do you mean now I don't have the... Oh, right, because I freed up Savio. Yeah. Wait, so he's the right wing. Do I like that other right wing better? I might. Savio doesn't even really play that much. I'm going to go get the other right wing. Somebody to change our, uh, our style a little bit. Who's that right wing? Yarly Fernando is coming up. 
So we're bringing Gabriel Jesus. We're going to get him to 100 caps. That is our uh, goal. We do have a Dorfers match before then, though. There's only one thing I can't deal with, and that's a deck of cards glued together. Are you ready, kids? Because it's time for our first match in the new apartment. Most like... Oh, get in! I think most likely ones, like Portugal, maybe. Oh, Hervé! Edelman! We're onside? Yes, he's doing the chicken dance. Of course we're onside. This is good. First apartment match. We are gracing the apartment with a tremendous result. Dane. Dane! Oh! <laughs> I think that means that we should do that. Him scoring a banger goal like that means we absolutely should do that. There'd be a lot of flying. Oh, dude, that's train. Come on. Train up to Glasgow. Train over to uh, Cardiff. This takes no time at all. Oh, it's Hinneman. It's Santa Hinneman. Dang it. <laughs> people, people being like, yeah, the train might not be running or it might get delayed or the schedule might be moved. And I'm over here like, dude, I have, I have to drive 20 minutes to get to school growing up. Sander Hinneman! Yes! Yes! Yeah, the train, like, uh... They do have trains out of New York, but they're not particularly good. Like, it takes 12 hours to get to Chicago, and if it was a bullet train, it'd take four and a half. So at that point, like, it's worth flying. That was a nice play by Benegas, but he almost ruined it anyways. Like, they just don't use it. And San Francisco has the trolley cars, right? England's the upside down of the U.S. No, China's the upside down of the U.S. I figured that out when I was in China and there was a commercial for something to make you less tan. And I'm like, dude, what? Yali Fernando could win his first cap. He's raring to go. Wouldn't have picked him if I wasn't sure that like, apparently this team's pretty inexperienced. We're going to go out here and blow the doors off Mexico anyways. We've scheduled this specifically for world ranking. So we're fourth in the world right now. So we're playing the two best teams that we could in this window. This is just the March window. I don't think we have anything this summer either. Probably just pre uh, play some friendlies. I don't know. It'll be cool to take the field as the Brazil coach the first time. It has been a minute since I played a 4-2-3-1. A hot minute. All right, we've got Shao Lucas. We have Vinicius Jr. and Angelo and Nelson Malik. We are managing Shao Lucas in a match today. We are going to watch him do things for 45 minutes. And we are going to dream. We're going to dream of a simpler time when he was available for us to sign and he almost decided to play for us instead. Yeah, I don't hate any of that. I'm going to do low crosses and uh, check some opposition instructions. Am I playing my boy? He's not starting today. Benegas isn't starting. We must crush these infidels, these fools. Mom to Adnan. What a ball! Yes! One oh, the Arena injured. Shut up, dude. He's not. He's not. Don't tell me that. I want to live in a world where that's not happening. Up now, walking gingerly. Good, 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 good. Good. Long as he's walking. We need this boy for the World Cup. Oh. My heart and soul in trouble. He's only, look, technically Giorain has only been hurt twice in his career. He did really, this was not an issue for the first year and a half of Giorena. Enrique. Bro. You are way too good at offense to be doing that. If you're going to be bad at offense, I might as well put in somebody that knows how to play defense over there. Is that Luca Romero? Yes. He chose to play for Mexico. Okay. 
Easy, 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 easy. Who is this Melon? He did everything wrong on that play. Every single thing wrong. From the ball in the air, he follows this guy all the way over, loses, like, doesn't get to it, and then he does, and Macias literally just cuts inside of him. Oh, dude. He's off. Skuller J, thank you for the 13 months. The Baker's dozen. Oh, thank you. What did I say about you, Murado? I didn't mean it. Um, Bruno Luiz out. Bruno Luiz is in. Maybe we can get a goal before we make that substitution. Lucas, thank you. Vinicius, that counts. That was a gorgeous goal. That was such a pretty goal. First live stream since you moved. Hope you're enjoying the new place, my man. I am definitely not all the way moved in, but I'm enjoying the new place. I'm really enjoying the new place. I don't see eight goals. We're working on it. Get that out. No shot. You lost that header. We had a two for one and we were both taller. Polisic, Reyna, McKinney, Dest. Oh, 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 wait a second. Hello? I can't hear you, over. They were looking for Esteban. Uh, they couldn't find him. It's clearly a ghost coming through the, uh, coming through the walkie-talkie. I don't know, that's pretty sketchy, dude. Shout out to the internet, though. We haven't dropped a single frame, so I'm getting better. I figured out the no shot. Thank you. I figured out the internet right away. I got no credit from that. Good win. Just beat a top 15 team in the world. Helps our world ranking, I'll take it. Start Leandro. Go to positive. I mean, we're playing Nigeria. They should be worse than Mexico, theoretically, but we'll go positive anyways. Captain's not been selected. Murata will take the armband. Sounds good. Who is our cap? Oh, Vinicius is the captain. That's right. Gabby Jesus, 100th appearance and his last appearance. Could you beat Work the Space? Yeah, probably. I played tennis uh, even a little bit in high school, so I probably could beat Work the Space in a tennis match, yes. Look at Naldinho getting his debut for the Brazilian national team, and it's me that's doing it. That doesn't feel loaded at all. Serena beat number two, yeah, but she lost to, like, number... Oh! Oh! Chelsea's oh, he was off. Role. Oh, Angela, one more pass. Oh, what a ball by Lucas! And it's Jesus on his 100th appearance for Brazil, Gabriel Jesus. There is infinite possibility there. Angelo with the goal for Brazil. It's Angelo for the Sunny Show. There's not a lot of nuance other than pick the team, put a tactic together, put the team on the field. And that's not really what Football Manager is um, is about in its core sense. And so in, in, because you can't control the training, your players get really tired in international tournaments. So you can't like baby them back. That was a nice play. That, th those are like my qualms with international management and Football Manager. Those are my qualms with them. Is Chelsea gonna lose? They did lose. Dortmund's winning, though, so good for them. Good save. We really shouldn't, like, come on. You can't be giving up straight line plays like that. The win actually could matter for our international ranking. Just gotta make sure we pick it up. Flyer, thanks for spending the Twitch Prime here. A free ticket into an elite online gaming community. Oh, it's Naldinho! It's a duel for scoring for the Brazilian national team. Who would have ever seen the day? 
Let's go. Cunha, 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 Gabriel, Edson. Nobody's celebrating with him. He just went by himself. Whatever. The Dorfer's already scored. We're going to beat Nigeria in an unfair 4 1. Urhogide. Timmy Ogun. Oh, boy. We're there. We're not defending this very well, though. Like, what are we doing? What? Do my center backs not understand the rules of the game? If he goes, you have to go. Because then everybody's onside. What is this line? Bruno Louise is taking a tour. Josias Gregor at least kind of gets the memo, and so we're just all out of swords. Like, if the fullback goes, you have to go. Stupid goal to concede. And we might give up another. What a boy, Josias. Good. I see so offside, it's not even funny. Why do we... Why do we have to watch this? Jesus, Cunha, is this actually... Yep, I think we're about to have a highlight. Yarly Fernando. It's cool. It's cool. Yarly really, he's leaving that impression. I'm glad we gave him the opportunity to play so he could make a serious impression on us. Completely and entirely exhilarated. Can't you tell? Mainly because we gave up four goals over two matches. Even though we won them both, we gave up a lot. Over two XG in that last match. Ugly. I Der Österreich Klassiker against Salzburg. Showtime. Our unbeaten season on the line. Which means we're going to start the best team that we can, which is Enriquez and Trujillo and Max Dean and Nolvino and... Look at that either footedness. Oh, no. He is an advanced forward of the highest quality when he comes of age. For now, though, he is not that guy. Eldor Shomorodov. The biggest match that Austria has to offer in our moment on the road against Salzburg after the league split as we try to separate ourselves to the top of the league. We are five points clear right now. They're playing a 4-5-1 with Shimuradov isolated. Max Dane looking beastly. Max Dane. It's still Max Dane. Yo, Hervé. Deste. Deste back across. We made it overall NFL channel to talk NFL and fantasy. Oh, nice. I, I look back over and Hervé was missing a very obvious chance, so I'd love to see what happened. It was Henneman that played him? What a ball! Oh. Oh, it was so clear, Hervé. That was so clear. You're the guy that progresses the ball more than any other player out there. Noldinho, Hervé. Back to Noldinho! It's Noldinho! We're on him, though. This is a really good start to this game. Oh, Naldinho, you had Dane. You got to be able to make that pass. Hervé, oh! Oh, what a hit. Oh, what a hit, son. What is this flare going on? Hit him and he's got Dane. He's got the keeper off his line. Where are the flags? They'll go up once the room. The room is getting painted by the super on Thursday. So we can't, there's nothing on the walls. Get in. Yes! He knocked on the door a couple times. That was a good header. Give me Duran. We're going for the second insurance goal. Hervé's nervous and he's missed a couple of opportunities. Give me Gustavo. Slip Gustavo. Gustavo Duran! Only 36 players in Champions League history have scored more goals than Erling Holland, who is playing his 20th game in the competition. 
Yeah, no, I, I, I said this when he was signing for City and people were like, who's going to be better? Oh my goodness. Our former player, our former most expensive signing ever, Ismael Mutaraji with a stone cold banger in the 93rd minute. Well, I gave him a lot of room. Oh, and oh my goodness, there's a chance here. Vanderhorst and Duran! We drew the Derby. Our unbeaten season's still intact, but we still have no separation in the league either. Hate losing derbies and not winning derbies. Come on. Even then, we only scored from a corner. We had to deste to, th or deste to think. The Wolf is going to stay in goal, and we are not going to rotate the bench too much. Seth, you want Fafana. I got to wait a little bit. Because we are still very much in a contending, a, a contentious position. How the Dorfers? Doing well, baby. We are leading the league. We've got our unbeaten season intact. Five points ahead of Salzburg. We just got to keep it rolling. We're at home at the Yeast against Wolfsburger. This has got to be an easy dub for us. Gotta be an easy dub. Oh, Aviv. Duran. How did we not figure that out? The runs were ugly. Oh, don't stop going for it, dude. Why did you stop, Sava? Why did you stop, Sava? You just... Oh, goodness. That's a goal. Oh, no. Owen, turn it into your left foot. Oh, yeah. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yes, yes, yes. A little counter, perhaps. Wow, one of those? Okay. <sighs> Let's go, Wolf! Mark Aaron Stone! Dang it. Duran should... Oh, ooh, he got the turn. Oh, and it's Henneman. Oh, and it's Henneman to Aviv Talius. Oh, and he's in! Two more. Two more. Two more. We're losing? Yes. Uh, a bit of a four-alarm fire, but it's not a five-alarm fire. Xander Henneman finding a lovely ball, and it's Aviv Talius. We believe in Talius' supremacy. Oh, he's in. Run it to the end line. Don't attack the center back. Run it to the end line and then wait. Oh, yo, he should have passed. Oh, wow, he should have passed. They defended this so horribly, this guy didn't check over. This avenue with a ball like right here is a first time finish waiting to happen. I don't hate on a striker for taking a decent opportunity unless it's that open. We are back in the fight, though. We could use a Stefano Deste moment. There he is! Oh, and it's Duran! Do you believe in the lads? The lads! He's got Devletchen. Good, slick ball. Roman, you know what to do. That wasn't bad. Was he on? I hope he was, because that's kind of tame in the end. All right, sub, sub, sub. Oh, hold that thought. I was going to get Vanderhorst. Oh, it's Duran! It's Gustavo Duran! <laughs> and the five-point league lead looks like it might just stay intact after all. Gustavo Duran with the brace. Through the channel. Yield is. He's got options. He's got Dane. What is that? That is so bad. There we go. Bring it back. We need to chill. We need to make sure that we hold the ball. We need to make sure we're in the right positions to be able to defend them coming forward. Not lose ourselves in uh, swaggering around for the insurance goal here. It is only three to two and the league is far from settled. Deste. Yes. He has been immense the last two. He scored in the last game. For the 1-1 draw against Salzburg. Goal and assist today.
Thank you, Stefano. Very happy with the result and way you played. Four goals the second half, 2-0 deficit at home at halftime. Ain't nothing but a thing. Maybe we should make that video about how to turn around a bad result. We could film that video today because we just did it. Down to make some changes. Yeah, we went down. We had to make some changes. We had to settle the boys, and we were okay. Salzburg drew rapid Vienna, so honestly, with seven matches to go in the league, we got to be feeling pretty good. Got to be feeling pretty good. Twisted ankle, he's out. L except for pay increase. Cool. Classy Duran was stellar. Cool. And it was on this day in the year. 2022 of the FM Lords. Xander Hinneman finally learned how to place his shots. Uh, Alessandro, perhaps? A little Alessandro for your trouble? He doesn't get a lot of selections recently. We should definitely get him onto the field at some point. Alright. It's showtime. It's the Vienna Derby. Our long-hated rival, Rapid Vienna, who, so, who they handed us our most embarrassing defeat as a club, I'd say, in this save. <sighs> Fans expect to win. Don't let them down. Lock in. Okay, never mind. Ugh. Oh, what do you know? Oh, dude, that would have been so perfect. We just scored immediately. <laughs> You all night, lads. Eldinho, good, nice touch. Oh, here he goes into back survey. Array rounds the keeper. Nice pass. Duran, yes. Gustavo, steal Gustavo Duran. He's gonna be. The usual rubbish for all the Hervé slander. Oh, it's still Hervé. Oh, nice pass. Pospisil, what a rocket. Caught all of that one. Your training schedules have helped improve my team so much. They're a staple of all my saves. I'm glad to hear it. That took a weirdly large amount, not weirdly, I'm probably not surprising at all that that took a lot of work to figure out, but it did take a lot of work from our wonderful uh, anonymous requesting coaching team. Hervé, there it is. See, if you give him the strong foot, he's fine. Celtics still have a chance though. They've been so good domestically. Oh, Hervé for the Hattie. That was blocked by Lainart. He's like a fringe Austrian national team center back. Just in the flow of the game from the score alone. Impressive to be able to withstand. Bring it back. Oh, great ball. Naldinho! I got the sub now. Just be in the right order. For once. Nice finish. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's Hervé. It's Hervé with it! Today, my son has been I have a good Ooh, Alessandro, the new boy. Oh, it's Trujillo. How did he miss? I don't know. And I'm so glad it didn't matter because we dominated the Vienna Derby at home. Wire to wire, end to end, utter domination, and we are the team in Austria, baby. Um, absolutely brilliant goal by Max Hervé. I don't know which one they're talking about exactly, but Salzburg just drew again, so we've essentially... We've stretched this to a point where we're very comfortable now, which is great news.